हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एडू टैप आई एम प्रकाश आई एम अ कंपनी सेक्रेटरी एंड अ लॉ ग्रेजुएट एंड इन द सीरीज ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक्स ऑफ अवर इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी आर हेयर विद द एम सी क्यूज ऑन पार्ट फोर्थ ऑफ अवर इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो बेसिकली दीज इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन दीज इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू सेशन आर गोइंग ऑन फॉर द टॉपिक्स मैंशन इन द सिलेबस ऑफ योर सेबी ग्रेड ए लीगल ऑफिसर एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड बट बिफोर दैट ए वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो or if you have any query regarding the sebi grade a legal officer examination then you can make comment we will definitely try to come up uh, with the video related to your query right so let's proceed with today's important content but friend before that you know that we have launched the course for you regarding the 5000 plus mcq course for sebi grade a legal officer examination of paper 2 which is relevant for both phase 1 and phase 2 the reason of launching this course is that students have been requesting us sir that sir please launch this course because we are we have already completed uh, 90% of the syllabus being a law graduate but we do not have access of any course related to mcqs through which we can make our uh, preparation stronger so that is why we have come up with this course so this is available Well, at very reasonable cost you can check the uh, price detail of this course in the link given in the through the link given in the description box below right so here we are providing chapter wise mcqs which are mentioned in your syllabus of sab grade a legal officer examination and you will be given free 500 plus mcqs that is you do not need to pay for anything related to 500 plus mcqs which is a part of 1/10th of our course right so you can check there as well so now let's proceed with today's content but if you are new here then do subscribe our youtube channel and also join our telegram channel to get the latest updates as well as to get the pdf of our youtube session so friends question number first is the fundamental duties in the constitution of india were adopted from your options are ussr constitution canadian constitution usa constitution French Constitution or Irish Constitution. What is the right answer for question number first? You have to participate in the session despite of the fact that you do not know the answer. You just make a blind guess. Do not need to worry. We do not have any provision of negative marking here. You are expected. You are supposed to do all mistakes here itself because you are not expected to do mistake in your actual examination. So that is why these pro these uh, sessions are conducted for you so that you can mistakes you can learn from here. You can gain knowledge from here, but you cannot make. mistakes in your actual examination so what can be the right answer for question number first so the answer related to question number first is option number a that is from ussr constitution so the concept of fundamental duties was adopted from the soviet constitution that is ussr 42nd amendment act of 1976 added 10 fundamental duties to the indian constitution right i hope you know uh, this being a law, a law graduate you have to have idea about all these details because questions are frequently asked from these topics now let's move to the question number second so if we talk about question number second then question number second is which article of the constitution of india deals with the fundamental duties this is a very basic question but sometimes asked in your examination and more and, and aspirants generally do mistake right so that you for that for uh, for avoiding that mistake we are covering this question here itself so your options are article 32 article 50 article 51 article 51a and article 21 what is the right answer for question number 2 so the right answer is option number d that is article 51a so the fundamental duties are defined as the moral obligations of all citizens to help promote us uh, us spirit of patriotism and to uphold the unity of india these duties set out in part 4th a so you have to remember part as well as the article so article 51a of the constitution concerns and you concern individuals and the nation so you have to remember this right and you have to also need to go through the all important provisions mentioned all important duties mentioned in article 51a because questions are asked from there also so you have to have idea about all uh, the duties mentioned in article 51a now let's move to the question number 3 So, if we talk about question number third, so question number third is which of the following is not the fundamental duty? Guys, do uh, read the question properly. Sometimes questions are about the negative statement, but we assume that question is about the positive statement, and we make the question wrong, right? We attempt that question wrong. So, you have to read the statement very carefully. Now, the options are safeguarding public property, to obey the parents, 
to value and preserve the rich heritage of our composite culture, to spread common brotherhood amongst all the people of India, and last but not the least, to defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so. So what is the right statement here? Basically, you have to identify the wrong statement here. That is, which of the following is not the fundamental duty. So the right answer for question number three is option number B. That is, to obey the parents is not a fundamental duty. Mentioned under article 51A, so it is not a fundamental duty. This is what we have to identify here. So here, it, the, here is the list of article 51A that you need to remember because question can be asked from any of the provision, any of the duty mentioned in the article 51A. So you have to have idea about all the duties mentioned here. So you can read this, uh, you can read the article 51A in its entirety from here itself. Now let's move to the question number fourth. So the question number fourth is how many duties were in the original constitution when the constitution was created? So your options are 8, 10 duties, 11 duties, 0 duties that is nil or four duties. So what is the right answer guys? Read the question properly then attempt that question. So tell me in the comment box what is the right answer for question number four? So the right answer for question number four is option number D that is zero. Yes the answer is zero. So today there are 11 fundamental duties described under article 51A of which 10 were introduced by the 42nd amendment act that is it was not the part of original constitution it was introduced through the 42nd constitutional amendment act of 1976 and 11th duty was added by the 86th amendment in 2002 right before amendment in the original constitution it was not there so answer will be zero. I hope you got the point. So these kind of facts you are expected to have idea about, right? Because being a law graduate, these kind of uh, minute details can be asked in your examination. So you have to have clear idea about these provisions. Now let's move to the question number fifth. So the question number fifth is the 86th Constitutional Amendment Act 2002 puts the duty on parent or guardian to provide opportunities for education to his child or ward in the age of so for which of the following is uh, the the duty of parents are mentioned regarding the education of their children your options are uh, age 6 to 10 6 to 14 6 to 15 6 to 18 or 6 to 16 so what is the right answer friend so the right answer for this question is option number b that is 6 to 14 so 86th amendment act of 2002 makes three exact provisions in constitution to facilitate understanding of free and comp compulsory education to children between the age of 6 to 14 years as a fundamental right. The insertion of new clause in article 51a clearly mandates the parents or guardians to furnish opportunities for education of their children between the age group of 6 to 14 years right. So this is under article 51a clause k. So this you have to remember. Now let's move to question number six then. So question number six is fundamental duties under article 51A is confined to your options are prime minister and his council of ministers, public servants, all those who run public sector enterprises, citizens of India or foreign national and citizen of India. So which of the following is correct? So the right answer for question number six is option number D right that is citizens of India. So the fundamental duties under article 51a of part 4th a of the Indian constitution binds wholly and solemnly only on the Indian citizens right. So you have to remember this that it binds only Indian citizens. Thus the part 4th a does not refer to non-citizens or foreign nationals. So the binding nature of article 51a is solely confined, uh, conferred on the Indian citizens only right. Now let's move to the question number 7. So question number seven is related to fundamental duties enacted in part 4th of the constitution are your options are enforceable duties and parliament can impose penalties or punishments for the non-compliance. This is, this is the option number first. Option number second is like directive principles that are mandates to people. Like they are, they are like the directive principles, right? Then like fundamental rights that are enforceable. Option number D is no more than meant to create psychological consciousness among the citizens and of, of education value and last but not the least none of the above. So what is the right answer for question number seventh? 
so the right answer for question number seven is option number d that is no more than no more than meant to create psychological consciousness among the citizens and of education value guys as you all know that fundamental duties are not uh, enforceable they are just a kind of a duty which 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 citizens is expect which which citizens are expected to perform right since they are enjoying some rights they are given some duties as well so that they can perform their duties so basically the, these duties are not enforceable in nature so the fundamental duties are defined as the moral obligations this is this is a kind of moral obligations of all citizens to help promote a spirit of patriotism and to uphold the unity of india the duties incorporated in the indian constitution by the 46th 42nd constitutional amendment act as we have already discussed uh they are basically not enforceable that is unenforceable by the courts they are only meant to create a psychological consciousness among the citizens of india so i hope you got the clarity now let's move to the question number 8th so if we talk about question number 8th then respect for the national flag and national anthem is a fundamental right of every citizen a fundamental duty of every citizen directive principle of state policy ordinary duty of every citizen or none of the above so what is the right answer for question number 8th so option number b that is fundamental duty of every citizen that is why i was asking that you have to have clear uh, idea about the preamble part third that is fundamental rights part uh, part fourth and part fourth a right so you have to have idea about all the important provisions all the provisions mentioned in, mentioned in these parts because questions are directly framed from the provisions itself from the clause itself like for example respect for the national flag and national anthem you know this is a fundamental duty of every citizen but if you have uh, if you would have not idea about this then you would make uh, you would have made the statement wrong you can also you could have also answered the option a as well as option c also right so that is why you have to have idea about all these parts because they are very important from your examination point of view so fundamental duties are the moral obligations of every citizen to promote the spirit of patriotism and hold the unity of india the fundamental duties of citizens of india were included in the constitution through the 42nd amendment act in 1976 to abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and institutions the, nas the national flag and the anthem to cherish and follow the novel ideas which inspire our national struggle for freedom is one of them right i hope you got it now let's move to the question number 9th so the question number 9th is the fundamental duties were included in the constitution with the idea of so what was the idea behind inclusion of the fundamental duties in the constitution so your options are giving more importance to the fundamental rights curbing uh, sub, uh, sub, uh, subversive and unconstitutional activities preventing abuse of fundamental rights giving more power to the executive or none of them so what is the right answer for question number 9th so the right answer is option number b that is curbing sub subversive and unconstitutional activities so the fundamental duties were included in the constitution with the idea of curbing subversive and unconstitutional activities now let's move to the last question for the day so the last question is which article of the constitution envisages free and compulsory education for children up to the age of 14 years so your options are again the question from the article of uh, the directive principle sorry uh, the uh, fundamental duties right so your options are article 45 article 19 article 29 article 32 or article 22 so this question is basically from the dpsp right so uh, this you have to remember that this is not the this is not from the directive principles rather the question is from the dpsp that is directive principles of state policy so what is the right answer friends so right answer is option number a that is under article 45 uh, article 45 envisages free and compulsory education for children up to the age of 14 years so in directive principles of the constitution of india under article 45 free and compulsory education provision is made for the children up to 14 years within 10 years of promulgation of the constitution right i hope you got it so this was about uh, the 10 important mcqs from chapter 4th a of our indian constitution so guys if you have any doubt 
then please comment we will definitely try to resolve that through a video or whatever is required to resolve that right so guys one or one more important thing that you have to solve a lot of mcqs because the uh, because in examination itself the provisions are twisted in such a way so that you get confused what is the right statement so for that you have to solve a lot of mcqs you can you can solve mcqs from where you can get we are not saying that you have to buy our course you can use mcqs you can solve mcqs from where you can get from where you can uh, find the suitable MCQs according to your preferences but guys the thing is that you have to solve MCQs a lot of MCQs before appearing in actual examination so with this let's close this session today we'll meet uh, another day till then goodbye have a uh, have a great day friends